After a year abroad, Yana finally met with the Lviv doctors, who saved her and her mother's lives and gave them faith that the girl would be able to walk again. All this time, the family lived in San Diego, where they underwent rehabilitation and prosthetics in an American clinic. In the first days when I just started walking, I didn't put on prosthesis in the morning. I walked a little bit already at about 12 o'clock. I also went to a rehabilitation specialist to exercise with him too. The first months of rehabilitation were hard, as was the adaptation to a new country. Yana's mother, Natalia, admits that they really wanted to return to Ukraine, because here, she says, everything is native. <coughs> you live there, it's the one situation, but when you are here, it's completely different. There they dreamt of swimming, going somewhere, eating burgers, but here you already need to be concerned, because America was temporary for us, but Ukraine is forever. Natalia and Yana Stepanenko lost their legs during the shutting of the railway station in Kramatorsk on April 8th, when the Russian army hit the city with SS-21 scattered missiles. 57 people were killed, 114 were wounded. There were five children among the deceased. Mom was left without her limb. And a 12-year-old Yana lost both legs. Natalia says their American friends were shocked when she showed them the video from the scene of the tragedy. They are very compassionate about this. It was painful for them to look at these shots. They really supported us, all of them. At first it was a little hard for us, but then, when we all got to know each other, then it was already very good. The Stepanenko family with amputations was brought to Lviv by an evacuation train 10 days after the shelling. Here they stayed for several months, then left for the USA for prosthetics and rehabilitation. Back then, in Lviv, it was not possible to prosthetic patients, and even more so to produce prosthesis as it is happening now. It was all new for us, new wounds. We have never encountered such injuries, especially childhood injuries, and there were no prosthetics of such a level and on such a scale. We actually didn't know how to do that and could not do it. Today we already have such an opportunity. As the girl shows, she will need to change her prosthesis every year. In the center, unbroken, they say, as soon as the time comes, they will be made in a prosthetic center in Lviv. A different life awaits them. At this stage, they no longer need to be regarded as patients. This is already a way of life. That is, they must learn this. They must work with a rehabilitation specialist, because prosthesis requires maintenance. Now Jana not only works confidently on prosthesis, but also rides a bicycle and a scooter. The family plans to stay in Lviv, but in the future they dream of returning home to the Donetsk region and never again bear explosions and shots. Reported by Yulia Bil, Vadim Dmitriev, Pavostenmach, UETV News.